What's up, y'all? Bungo Industries. We're out here today. We're gonna change the oil on my 98 Dyna. That's an Evo. We're gonna do a three hole fluid swap. So grab yourself a cold one and let's get rolling. Three hole fluid swap. Engine, trans, primary. So the engine and trans are under here. This one is the engine oil. This one is the trans. I learned that online. Everyone doesn't know where it is. I learned that literally yesterday. You can too. From this video. Only one place. That's all you need. Just one place. And now the primary. Put the camera right up in it. Yeah, this guy right here. That's the tr primary. But uh, go for a ride. Get your bike heated up. Slap your oil catcher or whatever catch can kind of thing you got. Unscrew those. Let her drain because once the bike's warm, note the nuts will be hot, bolts, whatever. And sole the fluid. So just be weary of that and have a good time. All right, once that's done draining, clean off your hardware. I'm gonna change the little little gasket you got here, this little rubber, rubber jaunt. And then, I'm gonna put the bolt back in. Yeah. Remember, you don't need to put it balls tight, just snugly tight. And then now, I'm gonna undo the bolt for the trans fluid and drain that. All right, now we're gonna move over to drain the primary now that we got our engine and trans oil drained and put away into our trusty bucket. Yeah, now it's time to get ourselves a T40 and undo primary and drain these buddies. All right, so we're gonna start by filling our trans because, you know, why not? We got ourselves some Anzoil synthetic V10 transmission fluid. So that's what we're gonna use. I believe you could also use their 20W50 engine oil in here too. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure you can. But either way, I figured I'll use the trans fluid because orange cap looks cool. So the recommended amount for 80 cubic inch Evos for this 98 Dyna is 16 ounces. And for those of you that don't do math very good, that's half of this bottle. Half of one quart, 16 ounces, one quart, 32 ounces, that's quick maths. First, we're gonna undo this here with a 3 8 hex. We're gonna grab our funnel and pour in the trans fluid. All right, don't lose this, that looks important. I'll put that in there real quick. So we're gonna do a little shoe nice on this one. Hear it crack? Oh yeah, really turns them on. All right, so let's see, where's the 16 at on here? All right, let's see if I got enough hands to do this with one. This is a terrible idea. This, this, this is a terrible idea, hold you up. You were a terrible idea. Hold up, hold up, yeah, I was an accident. Hey. My parents still love me. Still don't work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, we're back. We have, the camera died, so it's a different day. Filled up the primary. Put a new gasket on there as well and a new cover because my old one was scratched filled up the transmission fluid as well check your handbooks i'm not going to tell you because apparently with dinos and these evo dinos especially it's a secret so 
you have to figure it out for yourself with a manual or the forums. Use them, they're quite useful. We had to run to our local parts store because we support local and went and got the correct size filter because even though like the one I had could fit all Evos, I wanted the one that specifically was for this. We'll take this off, catch the oil in our little catch pan, probably lay down some rags or something so I don't have to do too much cleaning. You do, you know, just spray some brake clean on there and it'll take it out of the way. Pretty nice, we'll do that. Put the new one on and fill her on up, fire it up, probably go for a quick rip. Right now y'all can watch me struggle to get this in here. Oh, there we go, now we're, now we're moving. Throw down a couple of these jaunts so as to not totally get everything ridiculously dirty and covered in the wool. Because, you know, you will spill. Let's go, let's go. All right, she's coming on down here, folks. Just like a corn song. And there it goes. Pour that hoe out. That's the rest of the old oil. That thing was definitely on there way tighter than it needed to be. I'll wipe these things down because, well, it's Harley Davidson. If you don't spend half the time cleaning it, is it really a Harley Davidson? <laughs> now that we got this brake clean with the performance sprayer and spray this shit off that way it isn't all greasy and shit because like wd-40 its original intended use is not its only use and look at all that just falling right off the bone like a nice pair of ribs oh yeah wipe that down and on to the next step all right now we got our new filter so we got to do two things the first one Fill it up about halfway, three quarters, they say. That way, your first fire, when you turn that thing over, it's not totally dry. Because like any good man, you're gonna lube her up, get her ready to go before you really go. All right, so there's that. And then, you know, a little on your finger, get this gasket a little bit wet with some. That way you get a nice tight seal when you go put it on there. Beautiful. All right, let's set that jug aside. All right, we got our new filter, a little bit full, and lubed up. I'm going to take her right on in here. We're going to put her on the spot. And it doesn't need to be balls tight, just hand tight. Nice and snug it up. Take her in here, get a nice grip on her. I don't want to spill this oil, but I'm probably going to because that's just life. Now that it's good and hand tight, we're going to take our little tool that we used to remove it and give it another quarter to a half turn and then she'll be good to go. We can start filling her up from the back end. So I'm just going to do it little by little just like this. Okay, where's that little smudge spot right there? I'm going to go a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. All right, now come on to the other side of the bike and start filling her up. Now we got our filter on, we're gonna come over to the good side of the bike, admire her in all her glory, pull out our dipstick, Jimmy. Shove my funnel in there. And then I think you can get like three and a quarter in these things. Three brand new ones left, so hopefully that is enough. There we go, like that with one hand, because I'm special. Yes, this is day three of a three hole oil change because three holes, three days, duh. Let's see, let's shove this bad girl in here. Now let's pull her out. Let's see where, where are we at here? Uh, right below the full cold line, so we'll add some more. FYI, some AMS oil synthetic, 20W50, and I'm putting this also in the primary. I already did, as you saw, so that's what we'd be running. See, so that'll 
full quart when you're there. We're about a little less than halfway, so we'll put, I don't know, probably a good 12 ounces in there and then try her again. All right, let's check her. Throw that in. Now we'll pull her out. Let's give the old girl a nice dry fire and we'll check her out after. But I can almost assure you we are done. So we went for a ride, realized we needed a little more, so we added about four or five more ounces till it was closer to the full line when it's hot. Everything's looking good, feels good, runs good. Oh yeah, you should probably turn your bike off when you get home because otherwise your battery will die. Because after all, it's a Harley Davidson. All right, this has been Bungo Garage, how to change the oil on a late model Evo, specifically the Dyna. And peace out.